Hello everyone, welcome to Skills Build Training YouTube channel. My name is Kamran and this channel is all about to show you how to become an IT pro really really fast. In this video we are going to discuss the 15 things that you must do after installing the Pop OS. So without any further ado, let's get started. First of all, let's see that what is Pop OS. Pop OS is a free and open source Linux distribution. It is based on Ubuntu and it comes with a custom GNOME desktop. The Pop OS is developed by the popular American Linux computer manufacturer that is System76. At the time of this video creation, the long term support release of Pop OS is 20.04. The Pop OS 20.04 is based on Ubuntu 20.04. Alright, so the first important thing to do is to download and install the latest update. If you use the latest version of the software, it helps you to protect your operating system by downloading and installing the latest updates on Pop OS we can increase the performance of our system and it also help us to keep our system bug free. In order to download and install the latest update, first of all you have to open the terminal. In order to open the terminal, you have to click on the activities and this is the terminal. So you simply have to click here and the terminal will be opened. So once the terminal is opened, first of all you have to update the apt repository cache of your pop OS system. To update the apt repository cache, write sudo apt update and hit enter now the system is prompting for the sudo password so you have to enter your sudo password here and then you have to hit enter all right the apt repository cache is updated and now we have to upgrade our existing packages in order to upgrade your existing packages and to download the updates you have to write on your terminal sudo apt upgrade in my case all the packages are upgraded and uh, if there are some packages that need to be upgraded then it will show that these packages will take a particular amount of your hard disk. In order to continue with the upgradation you have to press Y on the terminal and then you have to hit enter and the packages will be upgraded successfully. Now let's move on to the second important thing that is updating the firmware. The System76 do a great job by creating their own firmware and sometimes we need to update it. The firmware contains some binary files that control the functionality of certain hardware devices so it is very important to update your firmware on the time. In order to update the firmware you have to click on activities and in the search bar you have to write here firmware. The firmware updation option is available in the settings app so you simply have to click here. Inside the settings app if we scroll down a little bit you can see that we have a firmware option here. At the time there is no update for the firmware but you should keep it checking regularly so that if any update is available you have to download that update to maintain the efficiency of your pop OS. And now let's move on to our next important thing that is to install the multimedia codecs in order to play the restricted formats. The multimedia codecs basically help us to play the multimedia files like mp3, mp4, avi and the other many popular formats but some of the formats are restricted in the pop os. In order to play the restricted formats on your pop os you have to install the multimedia codecs on the pop os. So in order to install the multimedia codecs you simply have to write on your terminal terminal sudo apt install ubuntu hyphen restricted hyphen extras and hit enter. It says that after this operation 49.1 megabytes of additional disk space will be used. In order to continue installing the multimedia codex press y on the terminal and hit enter. Alright, the multimedia codecs are successfully installed on my pop OS and now I have the access to play the any type of restricted formats on my pop OS. Now let's move on to our next important thing to do on pop OS and which is installing the GNOME tweak tool. 
In Pop OS, we do not have the minimize and maximize button in our windows. For example, if I click on activities and I open the files and you can see that we do not have the minimize or maximize button. To maximize this screen, you have to double click on it. And in order to decrease the size of this screen again, you have to double click on it. So the idea is that you can simply click on this cross button and you can close this screen. In order to enable the minimize and maximize buttons in Pop OS, you have to install the genome tweak tool. It does not come pre-installed on Pop OS. To install genome tweak tool, you have to write on your terminal sudo apt install genome-tweak and hyphen tool. Hit enter. Press Y here and hit enter. The genome tweak tool is successfully installed. So now you have to click on activities again and in the search bar right here tweak this is the genome tweaks tool click on it and now you have to click on window title bars to enable the maximize button click on this button and to enable the minimize button you have to click on this button all right so here now you can see that you have the minimize button and you have the maximize button also tweak tool also allows you to customize the look of your pop os so if you go to the appearance tab here you have the multiple themes available. In order to change the theme, you can click on this list. You will get the list of the multiple themes. Select your theme. And similarly, you can change the icons theme, shell theme, and the sound as well. You can also change the background image and lock screen image through the tweak tool. Now let's move on to our next important thing that is to enable the snap support. Snap is a universal package manager for Linux based distributions. It comes pre-installed on multiple Linux based distributions like Ubuntu 20.04 but it is not installed on Pop OS by default. Through the snap application manager we can install many applications on the Pop OS easily. Enabling the snap support on on pop os is very important and in order to do so you simply have to write on your terminal sudo apt install snapd press y here and hit enter all right the snap support is uh, enabled on my pop os and now let's move on to the next thing to do on pop os which is installing the vlc media player vlc media player is one of the important media player it is used to play any type of media files on your pop os system and it is the reliable one if you want to listen to music on your pop os and you want to watch the videos and you want to play any type of media format then the vlc media player is the must have application on pop os so let's install the vlc media player application through the snap application manager in order to do so write on your terminal sudo snap install vlc all right the vlc media player is successfully installed once it is installed now you can play the mp3 files mp4 files or any type of files now let's move on to our next important thing to do on pop os that is enabling the firewall a firewall is a network security system which help us to monitor and control the incoming and outgoing network traffic and it has some predetermined security rules for that ufw is a default firewall Firewall for Pop OS. It is the reliable firewall, but it is disabled on Pop OS by default. In order to enable it, you have to write on your terminal sudo ufw enable. So you can see that it is printed on the terminal. The firewall is active and enabled on system startup. And if you want to disable it, then you have to write on the terminal sudo ufw disable and when you will hit enter it will be disabled now let's move on to our next important thing to do that is installing the synaptic package manager the synaptic package manager is a graphical tool for apt packages it help us to install the apt packages through the gui you can search for the apt packages and then you can easily install it the synaptic package manager does not come pre-installed on pop os so in order to install it, you have to write on your terminal sudo apt install synaptic and hit enter. Press Y here to continue installing the synaptic package manager and hit enter. All right, the synaptic package manager is successfully installed. To verify the installation, click on activities and type synaptic 
in the search bar. This is the Synaptic Package Manager. Click on it. It requires your password for the authentication. So enter your password and click on authenticate. And this is the Synaptic Package Manager. So now you can search for the APT packages and you can easily install it on your Pop OS. Now let's move on to the next point which is exploring the pop shop. The pop OS comes with the very limited applications. The pop shop is a utility that allow you to search the applications and you can easily install the applications. So now you have to click on the application menu and search here for pop shop. This is the pop shop. Now you click on it. This is the dashboard screen of pop shop. Here you can see that you have multiple applications and you have some categories here for the popular audio applications you have to click on the audio category and it will show the multiple available audio applications on your pop os for example if you want to install the telegram desktop application you simply have to click on it this is the telegram desktop application so when you will click on install the installation will start and uh, the telegram application will be successfully installed and will be ready for use and now let's move on to our next point which is to install your favorite browser so if you click on activities you will get the Mozilla Firefox browser here. It is the default web browser for Pop OS. But you can also install your favorite browser on Pop OS. For example, we have the Chromium web browser here. So in order to install it, you have to click on the Chromium web browser. Then you have to click on the install and it will be installed on your system. And if you want to install the Google Chrome browser, then you have to open the Mozilla Firefox. You have to search for the Google Chrome browser, download its Debian package, and then you have to install it on your Pop OS. So having your favorite browser on the Pop OS is a very important thing to do. Now let's move on to our next important thing to do that is set the default applications in Pop OS. If you double click on any application, it will be opened in the default application. For example, if the default MP3 player is VLC and if you click on the MP3 file, it will be opened in the VLC media player. But you can set the default applications for any type of files in your Pop OS. To do so, you have to click on activities and search here for default. And now you can see that you have the default applications option in settings application. Simply click on it. All right. So this is the default applications tab. You can see that the Firefox web browser is the default web browser here. But if you have multiple web browsers, then you have to click on this list. A list of browser will be shown to you and you have to select any particular browser. And for the calendar, the calendar is the default application and for the photos we have the image viewer but for the photos for example if you have multiple photo viewer or image viewer application then you can select any default application for that firefox web browser can be the default application for photos so you can select the firefox web browser here as well so this is how you can set the default applications now let's move on to the next important thing that is setting the keyboard shortcuts the keyboard shortcuts allow us to open our files or folders or directories very quickly in pop os you can set the keyboard shortcuts scroll down a little bit and then you have to click here and you you have multiple categories here like accessibility launchers let's open the launchers category to open the home folder our shortcut is the super key plus f but we can change it so for this you have to click on add and other shortcut now you have to press any key for example shift control and h so now it is the shortcut for the home folder after that you have to click on set and it is set here and if you want to launch the browser you have to click super plus f1 and for the search it is disabled and for the settings let's enable it and add a shortcut for settings so for example control shift s and it is my shortcut now let's set it and close this application and now let's press the control shift and s here so here you can see that we have opened the settings application through the shortcut now let's move on to the next important thing that is the installing the thunderbird thunderbird is a popular email client it does not come pre-installed on pop os so if I search here Thunderbird, you can see that I don't have the Thunderbird application here. So in order to install it, let's open our terminal and let's write here sudo apt install Thunderbird and hit enter. 
All right, the Thunderbird is successfully installed. It is very efficient uh, email client. Therefore, it is important to have Thunderbird on your Pop! OS. So now let's search here for Thunderbird. This is the Thunderbird application. Open it up. All right, so the Thunderbird application is opened here. Now you can enter your name, email address, and password. You can link your Gmail account, Hotmail account. It helps you to search for the emails. You can write the emails and get the email notifications on your Pop! OS desktop. Now let's move on to our next important thing to do that is installing the Java. Installing Java is important because most of the applications are dependent on Java, and if you do not have java installed on your pop os then you can have any type of trouble so in order to install java you have to simply write on your terminal sudo apt install open jdk hyphen 11 hyphen jdk and hit enter when you will press y here and hit enter the java will be successfully installed on your pop os and you will have access to the java based applications as well now let's move on to our next important thing to do that is installing the tlp linux it helps us to improve the battery performance on our Linux system. It is a great command line tool which runs in the background and improves the performance of battery on your laptop. It does not come pre-installed. In order to install it and to improve the battery performance, you have to write on your terminal sudo apt install tlp tlp rdw and hit enter. TLP is now successfully installed and in order to enable it in the background you have to write on your terminal sudo systemctl enable TLP and hit enter. Alright so it is enabled in the background and now you will see a great improvement in your battery performance. So these were the 15 important things to do on Pop! OS after installing it. I hope you got my point and that's it for this video. If you have not subscribed to our channel then please do so by clicking on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon and if you have any feedback then let us know in the comment section. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.